Hello and welcome back to Merry Time Genie. A few days ago, I received a small query from one of my friends and the query was that, can you purge the H2S from a loaded tanker? Well, in today's video, let's try to find out if we can. The fact of the matter is that hydrogen sulfide quantity that you measure in any of your tanks with the help of your gas detectors is the amount of hydrogen sulfide in the vapor space of that cargo tank. If you try to purge the hydrogen sulfide from vapor space of any cargo tank, you might meet some really good success initially, but it will be short-lived. Because the thing is that hydrogen sulfide is inherent quantity of a cargo that has been loaded on board your vessel. There are two types of crude oils and oil cargoes when we talk in terms of hydrogen sulfide. One of them is called as the sweet crude and the other is called as sour crude. Sweet crude is the one that has the least amount of hydrogen sulfide as inherent property of that cargo. That means that it will release a very small quantity of hydrogen sulfide into the vapor space of a loaded cargo tank. It can be less than 5 ppm. Talking of the sour crudes, the hydrogen sulfide in the liquid cargo can range anywhere from 10 ppm up to 20, 30, 40, 50, 60,000 ppm. Virtually limitless. Now let's try to find out what will really happen when you try to purge the H2S from the vapor space of a loaded cargo tank. Initially, when you start purging hydrogen sulfide from the vapor space of a cargo tank, yes, initially the H2S in the vapor space of the cargo tank will reduce. But at the same time, when you are purging the H2S from the vapor space of that cargo tank, you are also agitating and you are also moving the liquid cargo that is in that tank. As a result, what will happen? The cargo will agitate, it will evaporate, and it will reduce more hydrogen sulfide into the vapor space. And the short success that you had with purging of cargo tank from the H2S uh, will very soon and very quickly turn into a loss. Not only the loss of the fuel and not just the loss of the time. I mean, you have already burned a lot of fuel to produce this inert gas which you are using to displace the H2S. You have already lost a lot of time that could have been used productively elsewhere not just these two. You will end up losing the cargo as well. If the cargo is light, if its API is high, and if its density is less, with the evaporation process, you are going to lose the cargo as well. And what I am telling you is from the practical experience. I mean, that is what you all are here for, right? The practical experience. I mean, everybody can read books, but the practical knowledge is very hard to find. We at Maritime Genie try to transfer not just the bookish knowledge, but the practical knowledge to all of you so that all of you can benefit from it. Now, talking of the hydrogen sulfide, when I was a junior officer and when we did all of this exercise practically on board one of our ships, we ended up losing about 350 metric tons of cargo during all of this process and during all of this exercise fruitlessly. So if you are here for a short answer that whether you can purge the H2S from the vapor space of a cargo tank, the answer is no, not really. For a short period of time, yes. You might be happy in the evening knowing that the process that you started in the morning of purging the hydrogen sulfide from the vapor space of the cargo tanks has really bore some fruit when you'll see that H2S in a cargo tank is about 5 ppm. But shortly afterwards, more and more H2S will be generated. And trust me on this, you will end up getting even more hydrogen sulfide into the vapor space of your cargo tank. And plus, you'd need to open the moisturizer again and again and again because the pressure in your cargo spaces will keep on rising due to the purging that you have already conducted. So practically speaking, it is neither possible nor advisable to do this kind of exercise on board your vessels. Well, I'm certainly not sitting here on this channel to bash someone, and I'm not certainly sitting here to bash someone's ideology. If somebody has given you an order to do that, he might have some reasons behind it. Some reasons that you might not be able to understand at that time. But practically speaking, it's an exercise which is not going to bear you any fruits or any results. The hydrogen sulfide that is in the vapor space of a cargo tank, a cargo tank which is already loaded with a cargo that has hydrogen sulfide as inherent property of the cargo cannot be reduced. It simply cannot be reduced. I really hope that this video was helpful to all of you in some way. And I am really happy with one thing. At least next time, if somebody asks me this question, I can simply send a link of this video to him. Well, with that, today's short video ends over here. If you like this kind of content, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you like to see more videos of this kind, educational stuff, especially the stuff that is not in your books, consider subscribing. Until the next time, take very good care of yourself and happy learning.